This photo was sent to me in an email in 2012, just weeks after, actually days after, uh, President Barack Obama was reelected in 2012. It was at the top of an email from the Christian Coalition of America. Uh, and um, I was struck by it at the time because it came like really right on the heels. It was in between the election and Thanksgiving, um, and uh, it had this caption un underneath it. It said, uh, Family at Prayer, Pennsylvania, 1942. Right uh, is the is the image here. Of course, it's a black and white photo. It's a white uh, family saying grace before uh, a meal, and, and then it had this line of text um, further explaining kind of the transition from the photo to the message of the Christian Coalition of America. It said this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It said we will soon be celebrating the 400th anniversary of the first Thanksgiving, and God has still not withheld His blessings upon this nation although we now richly deserve such condemnation. We have a lot to give thanks for, but we also need to pray to our Heavenly Father and ask Him to protect us from those enemies outside and within who want to see America destroyed. All right, so that's the message uh, that comes from, you know, attached to this image uh, right after the re-election of President Barack Obama in 2012. And, you know, I, at the time I wasn't really working on the book quite yet, but I, I immediately saved it because I, it seemed to me a kind of artifact and a symbol of kind of this visceral reaction uh, to the re-election of, of Barack Obama in 2012. And so part of the book is about unpacking, like, what is that about? Um, when we see these kind of reactions um, and, and this kind of throwback imagery, right, to a kind of previous time, a kind of mythical golden era, what's behind uh, that sense of nostalgia and loss and grief? Uh, and so the book is called, you know, The End of White Christian America. And I want to say, uh, to kind of prevent some confusion, what I, I mean by white Christian America really is a metaphor um, for the, the whole cultural institutional edifice that was built not exclusively but primarily by white Protestant Christians uh, in this country um, that really did set the tone for our national conversations and uh, really um, shaped a lot of American um, ideals. I mean, it wouldn't be hard, you know, many of you may have walked here, uh, to walk very far without tripping over an institution that was started by white Christian America, white Protestants, you know, so the YMCA, the YWCA, the Boy Scouts, uh, you know, it would not be hard to kind of find these things. Um, and yet, um, these kinds of institutions in the world that they were really a part of has really passed from the American scene. Uh, so that's really what the book is about. And you can see this in a number of demographic ways. Uh, you can see it in architecture. I'm going to focus a little bit on the demographics just for the setup of the conversation here. Um, if I could show you just one chart, uh, unfortunately, I'm going to show you a few more. Uh, but, if I, but if I could show you just one chart, um, it would be this one. Um, that really shows us uh, some real changes that happened uh, uh, just over the last eight years. So I've got shaded in kind of this light gray, the period of Barack Obama's presidency. This is all white Christians together, the percentage that all white Christians, Protestants, Catholics, non-denominational, Orthodox, all lumped together, uh, comprise of the American population. Uh, so in 2004, 59% of the country. Uh, by 2008, when uh, President Barack Obama was running for president just two election cycles ago, that number was 54%. Today, that number is 45%. It was 47% in 2014, and just uh, in the next year, our, our latest data shows it at 45%. So just during the last two election cycles, during President Barack Obama's uh, presidency, we have crossed this amazing threshold. We have moved from being a majority white Christian country to a minority white Christian country uh, in just a short amount of time. So this is, in fact, even if people, I think, don't know these stats uh, that well, I think many white Christians, particularly white conservative Christians, feel this shift in their bones, right? And this is part of some of the reactivity that we're seeing. Um, just to kind of put one more kind of symbolic issue uh, across this same uh, time period, uh, I'm putting up here uh, support for gay marriage over this same uh, period of time. And right, so if you just, again, go back to 2008, what you see is that only about four in 10 Americans supported gay marriage when Barack Obama was running for president in 2008. Uh, that number today is 53%. So similarly, we've gone from a country uh, where only about four in 10 supported same-sex marriage to being a country where a majority uh, supports same-sex marriage. That's a major cultural shift on a, on a um, pretty big uh, bellwether issue in a short amount of time. So, uh, so part of what the story that the book is telling is really about unpacking the reactions and the grief and the anxiety around uh, the reactions to these kinds of demographic and cultural change that we've seen really in the last decade uh, of our nation's life. 